Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinhardt, the Guitar Maniac, and in this episode I'll continue reviewing the power supplies for a pedal board. Today I want to take a closer look at Harley Benton Power Plant Jr. Well, I must admit I ignored it for a long time because I thought that this is just a small and cheaper version of the original power plant and I had kind of bad experience with it because it was nothing but a daisy chain in the box. But recently one of my subscribers pointed out that this was actually isolated. And so, let's take a closer look at it. And as always, we have two users' manuals, one in German and one in English, the power supply itself. As for the cables, we have one huge daisy chain cable that doesn't make a lot of sense with this type of power supply. We have also this yellow Y cable. What is it good for? I'll tell you later. And we have five long and five short cables. And for the first time, Harley Benton included more cables than the outputs of the power supply. And this is good because those cables uh, tend to, to get lost or damaged. Let's test it with a multimeter. As you can see, all the central pins that are negative are not connected to each other, and this is a good sign. I might just take it apart as well and look inside how it was built. The technical solution is nice and simple. This transformer has five separate secondary windings for each output, and that's why each output has its own rectifier with capacitor and some basic wiring with positive voltage regulator. Technically speaking, all the outputs are identical, but still they are isolated from each other. And so, let's put it together and make some noise test with a bunch of storm boxes. Before I jump to a final conclusion, I would like to talk a little bit about this yellow Y cable. This is another form of daisy chain. And what is it good for? This power supply has 5 9 volt DC outputs with 120 mA each. But if you have some power hungry storm box that requires more, you connect two outputs together and you get 240 mA. This works similar as if you would connect multiple batteries parallel to each other, but I wouldn't do this to multiple uh, power supplies, because I always thought that you might damage some of those and I would never think that this actually would work. Maybe I missed some education in my college days, but the user's manual says that it's okay. All the five outputs are actually identical and I thought you might use as well this daisy chain and connect more than two outputs together and with each connection you get 120 milliamperes more. So I made a couple of tests. First of all I connected multiple outputs together and left it for a while and after two hours this still works and nothing was damaged. And with the second test I wanted to figure out if you can power with this unit something that requires more than 240 milliamperes. And unfortunately the only power hungry device that I have is this torpedo cap from two nodes and this requires 200 milliamperes, but 12 volt DC. You can actually power it with 9 volt DC. You get a little bit more scratchy noises, but actually this device is perfect uh, for this test. And as you can see, torpedo cap works pretty good if you power it with three outputs connected together, but it gets in trouble if you power it with only one or two outputs. And this proves my theory. And none of this information is actually mentioned in the user's manual. And I think that this is the only minus. This information is kind of useful. Maybe you should update the user's manual for the Power Plant Junior. And otherwise, this device is just great. And if you have minimalistic pedal board, I can definitely recommend to grab this one. It's not expensive, only 33 euro. It's isolated, uh, it's noiseless, and actually, this is all I've expected from the original power plant, and it's a pity because I need a couple of 12 volt outputs. Otherwise, I can't really do anything with it. And so, what do I do with it? I'll give it away to the one lucky bastard who actually uh, brought it to my attention and gave me idea for this episode. And so, the subscriber with the nick JJ Ripoff, congratulations, you'll get this one. So, please contact me and I'll ship it to you uh, totally free. And I think I'll make this a kind of tradition. Uh, 
under my subscribers. If you help me with ideas or if you help me to promote my channel, I'll make a couple of giveaways as well. So stay tuned and have a nice day and keep on rocking. Peace.